Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be taking on the Cyber End Dragon deck, Machines for Food. Our Light Exchange deck has been going through many, many improvements, and honestly, the improvements have not stopped, so hopefully we can beat this deck. Morphing Jar on the first turn. Kaiser Seahorse, interesting. I'm going to start with Dandelion. I was going to use Karma Cut Dandelion, but... I'm going to start with Dandelion on the field. I feel like my opponent's going to pop me somehow. I don't know how, but they're going to do it. Alright, Cyber Dragon. There it is! Cyber Twin Dragon on the first turn. I fought Arturo enough times to know this was coming. I guess I should have set Morphing Draw if I knew it was coming, but screw it. Hello there, buddy boy. I could remove you from play, but I know my opponent runs three of you. So maybe I'll just compulse you in the end. Or I can remove... Oh, I should I should have kept Dandelion in the hand. That's on me. I want to get rid of any of these cards. They're all good options. Alright, you know what? I'm going to get a cut. Get rid of my... I know it's crazy. I'm getting rid of Morphing Jar of all things. But I'm getting rid of Morphing Jar. This card's removed from play. We're not dealing with Cyber Twin Dragon. Another Cyber Dragon. Why the hell not? Alright, so Cyber Dragon's a problem. A little early for an MST, I agree. But we're going to do it anyway. Haha! -ha. Now you can't MST my compulse. That's why we do it early. Alright, Slate Warrior. You're not gonna be able to beat Cyber Dragon just yet, but maybe if I can keep you alive, you will. Let's see if my opponent has another Light Hexio in their hand. How lucky are they? Damn it, they attacked that monster. Okay. Well, I'm forced to use Compulse. If they attacked Dandelion, I would have let the attack go through. But we don't live in that world right now. They didn't special summon Cyber... That's so weird. That's weird. That's very uncomfortable. Why didn't you special summon Cyber Dragon when you had the option to? I flip Slate Warrior. I can now beat a Cyber Dragon. Just a basic gold Cyber Dragon. But what is this? Okay, you can get MST back, I guess. Unless there was something else you use. Wow, your, your sword looks really cool in this game. Yeah, okay. MST's back, so... Good thing I already used all my good traps. Um, I should expect a Cyber Dragon coming in to destroy Kaiser Seahorse, unless they get Cyber Twin Dragon, in which we're going to have to deal with something worse. And maybe that's why they didn't summon a Cyber Twin Dragon. There's no reason not to summon Cyber Dragon ahead of time. Unless you knew I was going to destroy you somehow. You got your own traps. Oh, now you have a trap card. So you have MST and a trap card. But in defense mode, your card's not very good. Like, even my X-Head Cannon can beat Cyber Dragon. So why wouldn't you play that in attack, uh, in defense? And why wouldn't you play it in attack mode? Hell, even Kaiser Seahorse can beat it. Interesting. Well, that's two Cyber Dragons dealt with, so Future Fusion won't work anymore unless they use it on Blowback Dragon. Morphe Jar for a new hand. Honestly, I could use a new hand. It's a shame to lose Z-Metal Tank, but whatever. Alright, new hand equals a lot of good stuff. I like it. A lot of good stuff. Of course, giving my opponent a new hand is horrifying, because my opponent runs some stuff, probably runs Overload Fusion, now that I think about it. Unless that card, you know what, that card might not exist yet. No, Chimera is Season 2 GX, it would definitely exist. Oh, there goes, ooh, losing it like that sucks, I don't get its effect. Crystal Charity is really good, wow, your hand is busted. Gold Sarcophagus, what are you looking for? Future Fusion is probably useless now. Okay, you picked it. Reflect Bounder, not even that scary, honestly. Especially when I have, uh, yeah, I actually don't care about that. I'm just gonna activate Giant Trunade. You're gonna, oh, you didn't even MST my card, okay. Uh, I'm gonna summon Slate Warrior, and we win! We beat the Cyber Dragon guy. It was difficult to to deal with some of the cards, but not in this duel. This duel went great. I'm gonna go ahead and puff my Slate Warrior to an amazing point. There we go. That way I can win this duel in one attack if I want. Exit Cannon, you do the honors. We'll take a little burn damage, but we could take it. Reflect is a card I could actually use in my current deck. If I was able to pull it, I would put it in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bully you. I'm going to attack with Slate Warrior first, and then I'm going to attack with Slate Warrior. I don't even need to bully, but I'm bullying. This is, what you're, this is for Season 5. I mean, this is for World Championship Edition 2006. That, that, that game, you bullied me, but in this game, I'm the bully. Alright, and... 269, okay. I'll take 269, that's pretty good. But I think we're going up against another opponent from 2006 that beat us in this game. 
Still Flame Horus, a card that counters spell cards, and a deck that's super good at summoning Horus level 8. Not just level 6, but Horus level 8. So I'm going to need to get a Blue Eyes out early, and I need to play all my spell cards early. Which I don't like to do, but I guess I have to. Oh, I got good traps this time around. Good. Very good. Yeah, I'm gonna morphing jar. I'm gonna morphing jar you on the first. You better not have heavy storm. I swear to God. I swear to God. If you have nobleman, a cross out, or heavy storm, I'm gonna be so upset. Cause you are a spell heavy deck. Cause you like spell cards. Since like you don't counter your own. Oh, you got your field spell early. That's uncomfortable. Command knight. That's not uncomfortable. That's like one of the easier cards to deal with. Nope, we're good. Morphin Jar, do you mind giving me a new hand? Plus, throwing away Treeborn Frog is not bad, even though I can't use it just yet. It's not bad to throw that away. They lost Jin- they run Jinzo. Holy shit. It's just a good deck in general. They don't- I don't even care. That's just a good deck. Alright, let's see. I have Karma Cut. I could Karma Cut you. I could. But I'm gonna save Karma Cut for a real emergency. Alright. Do I have Giant Trunade down there? Mage Power, Giant Trunade. Wow, I do. Lucky me. I love getting Morphing Jar with Giant Trune. What a good combo. Because now your monster is at 1600 attack, so Slate Warrior doesn't feel any fear anymore. And then, if Slate Warrior needs it, I'm going to go ahead and buff him. It's the only time I can use spell cards, remember that, so I might as well. And then I'm going to set this card, and this card, and this card. I could go all out, why not? It's not like they have Heavy Storm. They would have used it. <coughs> they would have used it. Although I did just give them a whole new hand with Morphing Jar, so I guess that's... Oh, no, they would have used it. 4,400 damage. There we go. Well, at least I have that many attack points. 2,800 damage. Yeah, baby. My opponents are suffering. I love the music. Alright, let's see. I could ring a destruction myself, but I can't win the duel just yet. I need to do a little more damage before I ring a destruction. Plus, I got these cards to deal with, which I'm assuming one of those has to be Royal Decree, right? Like, it only makes sense, because this guy runs a very spell-protective deck that uh, Royal Decree would protect. So I'm going to go ahead and just summon a regular Slate Warrior. And Molten Destruction is going to weaken all of your monster's defenses, even Command Knight. Mask of Darkness, what the hell is your deck? I don't understand your deck idea. I actually don't. You got Royal Decree back. I guess you, you don't have that. Oh, uh, you have you run three of those. There's no way you don't have it on the field. We're about to find out because I'm going to activate uh, Ring of Destruction for game. And if it doesn't work because of Royal Decree, that'll suck. I'm only going to get rid of the weak Slate Warrior, though. Oh, it's game. <laughs> Unlucky for you. We beat the Horus guy. He gave us trouble last time, but this time, not so much. My improvements to the deck have worked out marvelously. Alright, I, I love that I say that now before we get into the next duel where I'm like, oh, well, this guy got me. Now let's find out. Thestalos, I had a good time against you last time. You are just a Monarch deck. You're not just Thestalos. You're not even a Fire deck. You are a Monarch deck. We saw Zaborg. We saw that. We saw Strike Ninja. Strike Ninja is going to be annoying. Yeah, we saw a bunch of annoying cards. You're also Macro Cosmos, which means Treeborn Frog got countered. And Dimensional Fisher, yeah. What card are you trying to go for? Marshmallow, interesting. Aeronite Parshath counters that. DD Survivor, interesting. A card that I can't beat. Well, I, I, it'll just keep coming back. So, all of my cards are countered right now. Shining Angel won't work. Like, at all. I can't use Shining Angel as long as they have that back row. So, I'm going to set Treeborn Frog and we're going to see if they tribute summon or something. Because I'm expecting a more... Um, I want them to tribute summon. It's funny. I actually want them to. Just please get, like, something I can... Yes! Mobius! Okay. So Mobius, no matter what, it is going to pop my card, Dust Tornado. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain... Uh, I'm going to chain Compulse because it has to happen. I need Compulse to happen no matter what. And then I'm going to chain Dust Tornado so that cards don't get removed from play anymore. There we go. Now, obviously, they might have another one of those, but... Uh, as of right now, I feel safer. And since that was their normal summon, I still get to keep my guy, and I get to summon. DD Survivor was removed from play, but it won't be removed from play this time! Which means I can get rid of it for technically not good, but for now. Goodbye, Treeborn Frog. Thank you for all you've done. 
And my Power Shath is strong enough, but I might want to go with Mage Power. Just to make sure that if it has to fight a Monarch, other than Mo uh, more, sorry, other than Mobius, then we have the damage. Alright. Of course, if it's Mobius, it will kill my thing. If it's the Borg, it will kill my thing. If it's Thestalos, I can beat it. And that's it. It has to be Thestalos. Alright, I was hoping to get a trap card with that pool, but no luck. Still, things are going okay. Even if he does get that Marshmallow on. I'll take a thousand burn, but he's gonna take way more. Uh, he's gonna take 1500 piercing. Uh, except that trap card worries me. Hopefully, hopefully it's Macrocosmos, which I really don't want it to be, but I would prefer it to be. I'm gonna summon this. I'm gonna set this to increase my pierce damage. We're gonna do piercing damage on what I think is Marshmallow. It's not! It's DD Scout, which is completely useless to you. It's only good. DD Scout Point is only good if you have, um. Well, I guess it could be used for Strike. No, it's not. It's still good in the graveyard. Strike Ninja can use it. I'm going to go ahead and use Ninja Sasuke Samurai. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Grandmaster Sasuke. I don't know why I keep saying all those other words. Alright. This is all going really well for me. Even if it's Marshmallow, Sasuke counters it, so I'm glad I drew Sasuke. Um, I drew Luminous Spark, which is really good. So this is going to end the duel because Marshmallow is a light monster. This lowers Marshmallow's defense, increasing my Air Knight Power Shots attack. Parshat's attack can now do enough piercing damage to win me this entire duel. It has 39. Oh, you know what? No, he'll live by 100. I need Shining Angel. Yeah. If this is Marshmallow, I still win the duel. Yep. Uh, he lives by 100 of the piercing. There we go. I t I'll take 1,000 burn, though. And then Sasuke Samurai actually counters Marshmallow, funny enough. And Shining Angel wins me the duel. We did it again! This duel, this deck is really working out now. Our light exchange is coming in handy. Alright, there we go. That's Delos yet again. Not too much of a problem. We got all the perfect cards to deal with him. I love when that happens to us and not the opponent. Because usually the opponent is the one that's like, Oh, he got the perfect counter trap. Oh, he got the perfect smoker. Oh, he got the perfect thing. Oh god, it's that thing. But this time around, it's me that's getting it. It's like, oh, I got Sasuke Samurai. Oh, I got another monster. Oh, I got an equip spell. Oh, we got this. My guy does piercing damage, so it works. Granadora into Air Knight Parashath is not the worst idea. Or Treeborn Frog is not the worst idea. Hold up. Unless he gets Nobleman, but let's just pretend that won't happen. Reinforcements. Stratos is really freaking good. You can use that. Yep, Stratos into Stratos. That sounds pretty scary. The infinite Stratos strat. The only thing I can't beat. But, Treeborn Frog will come back, which means I can summon Air Knight Parshath next turn if I need to. I plan to, too. So let's hope they don't have too many back rows. Only one. I'm sure I can deal with one. If my luck stat's high enough. Alright, Treeborn Frog, come on back in defense mode. Um... I also could just not go for Air Knight Parshat this early. But if I do go for Air Knight Parshat, I get draw power, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to play Birthright till I need it. That way I, all, I get Birthright. I mean, I get Treeborn Frog back every time. Alright, let me get some draw power. Maybe I will draw a trap worthwhile. That makes me want to use my thing. I still have to worry about scapegoats after all. If he gets scapegoats, we're in trouble. Although Skit Goats doesn't work well against my guy, it just it's just for oh wow, that's not good. Oh! Kali Dokali. Okay. So he may have summoned three monsters on his side, but I think Dogma requires Um Damn it, that was a really good play, huh? I think Dogma requires a destiny hero, or is that just plasma? No, it might yeah, I'm pretty sure Dogma requires a destiny hero. But the problem is Dogma is a... Spe I need Treeborn in attack mode. Because Dogma is a special summon. He could just summon one of the Destiny heroes and do it. So sadly I had to put Treeborn in attack mode. But I'm glad that Treeborn's coming in handy in terms of battle. That's really funny. Alright. And Air Knight Parshath. I'm sorry that this did not work out for us. I did not want to have to do this. I should I should have just played Nar Monster, assuming Creature Swap could have been a problem. And then I could have summoned Air Knight Parashath at any time using Trueborn Frog. But how was I to know that they were going to Creature Swap me on the first turn? Oh, they got Destiny Hero Dasher, that's for sure. Yep, at least Destiny Hero Dasher has a big weakness. He has to go into defense mode. 
So Treeborn Frog, you did what you had to do. You stopped him from summoning a better monster. Dogma is way scarier than us taking 2,000 damage. He's way more than 2,000. Uh, Treeborn Frog, just keep coming back, but this time you can go in defense mode. Um, looking at my hand, I keep drawing monster cards. Uh, we're gonna go with a safe Rocket Warrior. Rocket Warrior always makes me feel safe. So just a little 1500 monster. That way I could save my 1900 monsters in case uh, my opponent draws something pretty powerful. Plus, if they get in our creature swap or something, if they destroy Treeborn, I want to have the option. Alright, they didn't draw Destiny Hero, but they got Stratos. That's no good. Oh, they got Dogma this time. That's not good. And Rocket Warrior is destroyed. Shame. But I could beat Stratos in battle. Alright, Treeborn, just sit there. We're gonna figure this out. Oh, wow, I got Creature Swap. Yay. Even though I should save this, I'm gonna do this now. You know, my monster, I like Stratos. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy that uses uh, heroes from time to time. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Slate Warrior. I don't wanna use Granadora if I don't have to. Granadora is kind of risky. Alright, Treeborn Frog, I'm glad I got to destroy you because you'll be back on next turn. And then I attack with my Slate Warrior. There we go. Okay, we caught up. He's still winning, but we caught up. And I don't know what he could possibly do to screw us over. Well, I guess this is part of it. Fearmonger is not the scariest card in the world. I guess another Dasher would be. Another Dasher, okay. He said it. Why would he said it? If it was another Dasher, why would he said it? That is a freaking good question. I can't. I guess I would beat it with Slate Warrior. I guess, but that still doesn't under. That doesn't make sense. Why would he set it? All right, I'm gonna summon Y Dragon Head. Nothing too strong. If it's Dasher, it doesn't have that much defense. Oh, it's malicious. Oh, this is bad too. I wasn't considering malicious because he runs three malicious in his deck. This was before the nerf. Uh, we're actually in a little bit of danger here. A little bit of danger. Because now he has two special... I mean, he has a special summon of Malicious, and then he could use that for a tribute. Or if he gets Scapegoats or Stray Lambs, he could get Dogma. I don't think he runs Stray Lambs. Alright, so there's Malicious. There's Stratos. He had another one. What card could you possibly want? Desiro Defender is too late. Defender would have been the card to, to, to use, but it's too late for that now. I'll take a baby 300 damage. I just need to do 600 damage. So if I could draw a card like Blue Eyes, I can end the duel without having to get through Malicious, but I'm probably going to get through Malicious. All right, Malicious only has a 800 attack stat, so I'm going to go with Silent Magician. All right, and that should be the end of the duel. Silent Magician destroys Malicious. I used only monsters in this entire duel. I didn't use a single spell or trap card. That might be the first time I didn't use a single spell or trap card. Only monsters this duel. I wonder if that's a challenge. Can I get money? <laughs> Can you pay me for this? You know, since I did this in such a different way. And Dogma Man is defeated. The improvements to our deck are paying off. Yeah, look at all that. All that good stuff. A thousand bucks. I'd love to see it. Alright, let's go ahead and get some cards. Now, cards I need... I got Drillroid now, so that makes me happy, but why would I want one Drillroid? I want more. I could go for Spellcasters as well. You know what? We're going to buy two Light... Three Light Packs. What are we doing? Three Light Packs. We're going to buy... No. Two of these packs, and we're going to buy one... I don't know what I want... Give me one dark pack. That's only 150. Let me get a, big, a real pack. Give me a spellcaster pack. I like the spellcaster monsters. Alright, let's see. Cyberstein again. I want another Drillroid if I can get one. Nope, Dreadroot. Don't want that. I want one more Drillroid at least. I know it's a basic rare, so it's hard to get, but I mean, I don't know why it's so hard to get if it's a basic rare, but still. Alright, let's see. We got Senju again. I'm looking for Monju if it's even in this pack. Another XYZ Dragon Cannon. That's nice. 
don't know if I'll ever need two. I might not ever summon one, but... Hey, Galicia D Knight. I like that card. Thunder Nyan Yan, XYZ Cannon. I'm actually missing one of them. I'm only missing one of the XYZ cards. Alright, so let's see. I guess VW exists, so I'm missing that one too. Rocket Warrior. Nice. And the Spellcaster Pack. Oh, I pulled a DR Dark Magician! And it's my favorite kind. It's the red one. Yeah! Holy crap. Okay, well, there we go. That's how you open up the duels. There we go. A uh, new pack list. Okay, let's go check it out while I'm here. While I'm here. How do you check out pack lists? Is it in duels menu? Card list, yeah. All right, I think I unlocked the spellcaster pack list. Yes, I did. So we have the light one as well. Okay, so light pack list. What are we missing? Dunami's the Dark Witch. She would be good. Um, Ojama Green. We're missing that. Uh, we're missing a Sura Priest, a really good card. Blade Knight's good. Blue Eyes Tune Dragon's funny. A DD Warrior Lady's in this pack. Oh, boy. What else are we missing? We're missing Moisture Creature. Eh, I can live without that. Reflect Boundaries in the pack. Yeah. I'm missing some good cards. Where's Is Manju not in the pack? Vortex Con's pretty good. White Magical Knight's funny. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I would love to pull that. Master of Dragon Soldier is fun, too. That would be cool. Um, I'm missing YZ Tank. Yeah, Manju's not in here. Okay, so I only can get Senju from this pack. Spellcaster Collection. I got Dark Magician. Oh, there's two different Dark Magicians in this same pack. So probably the original and the red one. I got the red one, which is the one I want. Gemini Elf's in this pack. Um, I guess I do have all pieces. Wait, do I have all the pieces of Exodia? I have all the pieces of Exodia. Wow. Uh, Ancient Lamp. Okay. Dark Magician Girl. I already got her. Ejection Fairy Lily. A really freaking good card. Kaizijid's good too. Um, White Magical Head again, which is Apprentice. No, thank you. Yeah, okay. We are, we're not really missing much in the Spellcaster pack since we got Dark Magician. Um, Wrath of Evil. I'm still missing cards in this pack. What am I missing? Just out of curiosity. Arm Dragon level 3! Are you serious? I'm missing the basic rares? Arm Dragon level 3 has to be the most basic of basic rares, and I don't have it. I have 5, 7, and freaking 10, but I don't own 3. Drill Red was one of the hardest cards to get. I don't have Hand of Nefisivna, so I guess that's a really good card I'm missing. The Tricky, okay. White Horn Dragon's alright. Any Spar Trap cards I'm missing? Oh, I got everything else. Okay. Yeah, I'm only missing a few cards in this pack. I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. Alright, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.